Hello everyone, my name is Zelda Hawkart and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the wonderful new Shire horses and oh my god, I am so impressed with these horses. So the first horse we have here is like a charcoal kind of horse or dark bay, whatever you want to call it, I consider him a charcoal horse. And the Shire horse is one of the biggest horse breeds in the world. With a height that can pass five and a half feet or 1.7 meters, they're majestic but in spite of their size they're known for their calm and friendly temperament. Even more characteristically, characteristically they're known for their heavy feathering at the fetlock. If you don't know what um, the fetlock or the feathering is, it's um, basically where their hooves are or their feet. It's just lots of extra fur or like fluff or whatever you want to call it. As well as being big, the Shire is also strong and it's said that it can pull up to five and a half tons without a problem. This made the Shire horses a popular war horse in the Middle Ages as it could carry a soldier wearing heavy armour. As knight's armour began to disappear, the Shire became more and more widely used as a workhorse. Now those days are gone, the Shire horses the Shire horse is most popularly known as a parade or draught horse. These horses are restricted to level 8. There is one in Fort Pinter, um, which is kind of strange if Star Star was wanting to open them up to um, non-star riders, they can't get to level 8. They cost 949 star coins, which I think is a reasonable price considering the Tingers are 950 and um, the Frisians are 990. Strength 5, which is a lot. Discipline 2, no swiftness obviously, endurance 1 and agility 0. As you can see, these Shires are quite popular. Um, I don't blame anyone. These are awesome horses. There are actually three colors, but I bought the black one, so I can't actually go back and see it, but I will show you guys. This is the second one. It is this absolutely beautiful chestnut. I'm considering getting it. Um, it's got this beautiful two-tone mane. It's like an ombre mane. It's beautiful. I, I'm in love with this horse, but once I saw the black one, I knew I had to get it. So the third and final colour is this beautiful black colour with just the featherings white and he's just got this small stripe. These horses are beautiful, I think they're very majestic, they're very, you know, they're just awesome. I, I can't really describe them. They're obviously a lot muscular, they are a bit taller um, with their heads down um, and just if they're standing without a rider on them then they look around the same height but you can tell that they're obviously bigger um from here they do look a bit the same height but they're not they're they're bigger for certain so this is winterborn that's a star server name but i'm gonna be calling him loki he's beautiful i love him the one thing that i notice is that when they're standing when i'm i'll just quickly also much bigger than the morgans if in the um, teaser you can also tell that when he's standing if I walk him out here also that's their walk he looks a bit like he's gonna fall over as you can see their legs here um, if I can just like they look they look like they're in a superhero pose which also you know it's fine but it also does look a bit like they're gonna fall over but it's not a big deal to me um, they do have the grazing animation they have the um, when they pick their back hoof up to rest they do have that um, as well their tail is really nice I love their tail and their mane I think it's really well done although sometimes it does get a bit glitchy their forelock is absolutely adorable because they flick it out of the way and also they move their ears a lot and they move their eyes they like the Morgans and the quarters they have a lot of new animations now for the hairstyles, I've actually moved the hairstyle thing to over here because it was over here before, it was cut right into his face. So first is the rosettes. I don't think they look too bad. I've never put a horse in rosettes or dressage rain, whatever you want to call it. I don't think they look too bad. I just wouldn't be putting him in there. And he, you can tell he's huge. He fills up the whole entire screen. So the second one is this shorter version. I don't really like them without the long manes. I don't, I don't think they look that great. 
um, if I can change cameras, yeah, and you see the tail changing. Let's quickly show you the last two ones. I don't think they look good, um, really without their long mane. I think their long mane is quite unique to them. And then there's this shorter mane. The adorable thing they do is they flick their head up when they're standing. Still, it's like they're like moving their um, mane out of their eyes. It looks really cute while they're um, moving their forelock out. It's like a hair flick. See, that is, the, that is the Shire hair flick. Now, I'll show you their gates, but before I do anything, I will show you their rear. Now, their rear takes up the whole screen if you're not pointing your camera down, if you're just, you know, just like this. You rear up. Yep, they go above your screen. They take up the whole entire screen. They're massive. They're huge. They're awesome. I love them. I'm in love with these horses. So, we'll start off with the walk. To me, all their gates look... Um, very similar to the Morgan Gates. So this is their walk. Um, nothing much to it. I think it's a really nice walk. So I'm going to their trot. I think, honestly, I'm going to be honest. To me, what it looks like is it looks like um, the Morgan's Gates copied onto the Shy Horses. And I am running into haze. Into hay bell uh, hay bells. Um, it looks like they're sneaking around a bit. I think it's cute though, um, I'm not really going to complain, we'll just do the front view. And then their canter, I think their canter is beautiful, I think it's absolutely magnificent, it's it's stunning um, in the way their tail moves and you can see the mane slightly moving, we'll just get into the kind of s slow gallop I guess you can call it, you can see their mane moving quite a lot. And their tail obviously moving quite a lot. And then we'll get into the full out gallop. You see, their mane is going. I think that's a really nice touch. I haven't really seen that on many other horses. But their mane is certainly flying back. Um, I love their run quite a lot. It's not... It is like the Morgans. Um, it also seems very fast and powerful. Like, if you got on these horses and you tried to make them stop galloping, they were probably not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to do the, the, you know, sudden stop. It looks, you know, quite generic, sudden stop. Nothing much to it. They close their eyes, throw their head around, all that. I will go and have a bit of a jump over here. If I can time it right. Yes. I think their jump is ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. For a horse of this size and stamina, they look just a bit odd jumping over these jumps. Just how their back legs kind of... Yeah, I, I don't really like it personally. It looks a lot like Morgan's Farms. Um, it looks very springy, which it doesn't... To me, it just doesn't seem to be right for these, you know, huge horses. But, um, you know, it's fine. <laughs> And I'm sorry if this wasn't very detailed or, you know, as awesome as it could be. I'm still kind of working on my reviews. Um, but again, anything I said in this video was my opinion and I'm no way, like, trying to influence anyone. If you like these horses, if you don't like these horses, that's your decision. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And I hope you all have a good day and goodbye. Stop your feet, stop clapping, got a real good feeling, something bad about to happen.